also I can provide you a counterexample of someone who, at least in their own eyes, didn't find anything, and they still have a job. Dr. Susan Blackmore. Um, she's a uh, she's a parapsychologist in Britain. Um, studied uh, tried to study the phenomena for years. Uh, in her own books, couldn't find anything. But um, even if you don't, and she even recently said that she may have. Uh, she may have uh, inadvertently just made, like there may be either one big fluke or that there may actually be something there worth replicating. And uh, in a recent statement, she made that uh, recant. Um, again, that's in one of my sources, but never mind. That being aside, I mean, regardless of all the controversy surrounding her work about possible flaws and reasons that, uh, like this, she may have actually gotten significant results, but you know, significantly negative, and therefore she didn't count them as psi. Uh, I mean, even if you leave that all out, you know, uh, and. Just, just for, just for the hyper assumption that she didn't find anything due to experimenter bias or skepticism or not, or there nothing being there at all, you know, regardless of what it is, she still is working. She recently, she recently published a book with, um, which actually she was a prominent figure in helping come up with the, uh, the um, dying brain hypothesis of near death experience. She's still researching this, but from a skeptical point of view. You see, it's not necessary for somebody to get lack of funding. Uh, you know, somebody might not necessarily lose funding or uh, be out of a job if they don't find anomalous phenomena. In some cases, if they don't find it, then what do they do? They start going to try to find other rational explanations for why this is working and trying to get to the intricacies of the original basis of the experience itself. You see my point? There, you know, again, effectively, your entire argument is baseless. Um, is baseless as a straw man. Um, the reasoning for uh, for people wanting to sex up data or or the like or misrepresenting it, um, you know, and deliberately leaving out flaws or, or other things like that, or the the idea of the entire Gans field being out of flaws. Again, as I've already pointed out, there are plenty of references which show that there has been some improvement over time. Um, the evidence is a little bit controversial. It still needs more replication attempts. Um, but there were there was criticism from skeptics, and there has been improvement uh, meeting some of those skeptics meeting those skeptics demands. Uh, hence the Otto Gansfeld experiment arising out of the original Gansfeld um, uh, is one big example. Um, again, uh, the joint communique written between uh, Hyman and Horneton uh, in 1985 uh, was it 1987. Okay, but anyway, like I said, there's there's other uh, there's plenty of other uh, examples of this of uh, of joint communication stuff like that where um, actual work has you know has gone forward and recommendations have been made. Um, you know, uh, again, you know about what is the, the whole point is, uh, you know, the whole point is here is trying to generate a replicable experiment. Um, you know, it's. But anyway, my, I digress. My main point is that you've effectively strawmanned the whole thing, and I know I'm repeating myself here, but I want to sink this point home that you need to do more research, then come back and do an updated video on this because this video is sorely lacking. Um, uh, it, uh, it's you know it's it's a good uh, it's a good start for the overall, but it's it's sorely lacking in a lot of detail and in a lot of actual evidence, effectively misrepresenting uh, both the scientists who are researching on both the pro and con sides. Uh, it contradicts itself. Um, Richard Wiseman is obviously not out of a job, even though he didn't find anything. Um, you know, he, even though he claims he didn't find anything, but again, statistical flaws in that particular paper. I mean, he's working; he's still publishing peer-reviewed data. Um, you said uh, you question, raised a question saying, "Are parapsychologists bullshit artists?" as a possible definition? But but then you probably said, "Noted parapsychologist Richard Wiseman." You contradicted yourself as well. Um, therefore, uh, technically, they would all have to be bullshit artists, including the skeptics. Um, so. You see, the point is that your video doesn't, um, it's not very well, um, it's not very well articulated for one thing. Um, so you need to, so you need to work on the articulation for number one. Number two, it doesn't take into account the actual data, um, again, on, again, or the actual papers that have already gone on for all this time, both proponent and skeptic, uh, you know, and I'm not saying the skeptics support the existence of psi phenomena. What I'm saying is that there has been some improvement in the, you know, uh, in the, in terms of the technique and stuff like that. And, um, interestingly, and even that paper uh, has had an update since then by one of the co of the two co-authors on it, um, which said that the uh, that the meta-analysis actually was statistically significant because uh, recent studies had been left out. Effectively, the skeptics were using the file, you know, were guilty of the file drawer effect, which is um, you know inadvertently leaving out studies which don't um, conform to their idea. Well, no, not intentionally. They just left out a few studies, hence the file drawer effect. Um, but you get my point. It's sort of, you know, and since then there's been another 11 studies which were uh, meta-analyzed after that particular uh, piece, which uh, which also yielded statistically significant. So you know, four different studies, uh, four different meta-analyses, each all, all statistically significant, um, meaning that there's uh, and and new replication studies going underway. 
meaning that uh, we don't know if there's a phenomenon or not, but there uh, was a statistically significant anomaly all the way through, even with Titan protocols. So, um, okay. Anyway, I digress. I know I'm repeating the point, and I know I'm beating the. I know I know I'm kind of like beating a dead horse here, but I want to um, stress again. Three things you've got to correct. Avoid contradicting yourself, please. Avoid straw man attacks. Avoid ad hominems uh, or baseless, um, or how shall we say, baseless reasoning about possible about mo uh, baseless attacks about sexing up the data and the like. Also, uh, one other thing. Um, again, uh, well, again, basically the uh, as I've already said, uh, just accusing them of sexing up the data, uh, of sexing up the data. That actual particular phrasing is uh, something of an ad hominem attack because it's basically saying that they're dishonest, um, uh, which is not relevant to the actual issue. Um, and secondly. Um, sexing up could also imply, note that I said imply, it doesn't necessarily, now fortunately in your video you've managed to avoid this, but in some cases people have accused sexing up the data as just simply saying experiment or fraud, which is an unfalsifiable claim and um, is not, uh, you know, is not admissible as part of the, is not, is not admissible as part of the argument. When talking about other flaws or possible variables, uh, if you want to take a look at, you know, uh, different subject variables or whatever, different ping pong balls or different uh, static is irrelevant because of the fact that um, if the sender is far away, like in the photo you showed, uh, then that that sort of sensory data should never leak uh, directly to the uh, to the to the uh, receiver. But anyway, I digress. Um, bottom line, look. Go through the actual data right now, the, the most recent meta-analyses. Take a look on both the pro and the con sides about, about where the actual flaws are, where the improvements have been made in the, in the phenomena. Then come back, do an updated video uh, debunking the GANS field, and then we'll actually have something, okay? But until then, um, please quit quoting out, uh, please quit straw manning, and uh, again, please um, try to avoid arguments which are, invo uh, are using critical thinking fallacies. Um, to support its, uh, you know, to, to support your 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 thesis. Um, again, as I've said, I'm a uh, skeptic myself. I'm still kind of juries out there on this one. But again, you know, I agree with you on the overall. But you know, the uh, the actual state of the research um, is a little bit. Um, well, as I've said, I've, I think I've already critiqued your video to the point where again. Uh, it's basically it's riddled it's riddled with plenty of holes that need severe and I mean you know severe you know going back at the research and severe patching up you know uh, a new video is what I'd recommend um, uh, you know just just update uh, even if it's just an update to the one this is this currently up now um, you know taking more of this into account you know more detailed so this way people who are questioning won't be able to uh, attack you on this whole point and you know try to make a case for ESP based on it um, or make a case for Psi based on this uh, you see what I mean let's not give the proponents or let's not give um, you know even people who are bordering on pseudoscience um, let's not give them any more ammo than we need to um, yeah so thanks a bunch um, also as well uh, using critical thinking fallacies and stuff like that uh, to support skepticism is not real skepticism it's also borderline pseudo skepticism so uh, again it may be purely unintentional on your part and I'm, t I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt on that one hence why I'm recommending further research um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Toodles.